Hello everyone, welcome to Patty Boys Grill. If you're ready, let's get grilling. Here at Patty Boys Grill, one thing that we uh, are all about is tips. I'm sure in the last several issues you guys have seen the tips that I've handed out. So this whole issue is going to be a tip, all right? And today's tip is experimentation. So same on the grill as it is in the kitchen. You know, you get an idea, uh, you start messing with the recipe, you cook it, you try it, whatever. You experiment with it until you get what you and your family like. So... But today's show is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do something for you guys that no one has ever done. This whole show is the experiment. So, a little background. When I came to Pennsylvania, one thing that was introduced to me was pierogies. Never had them before, living in upstate New York. And now that I've been here in Pennsylvania, I love them. My daughter is a pierogi freak. She just loves them. So, quite some time ago, I had this idea, what if we take the pierogies, and after they're boiled, let's put them on a grill, see what happens then. So, we're going to do that today. So, what we got here is probably about a dozen pierogies, freshly boiled. So, what my thought was, is I have here a little garlic and herb compound butter, and I melted it down. All right, real simple, whole stick of butter with your favorite Italian seasoning. And I actually use both minced garlic and garlic powder and then a little Parmesan cheese and uh, mix it all together and then roll it up in a saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator. You know, once it gets hard, compound butter, you can take a slice off for your bread, you know, for uh, Italian bread. But what we did here is we melted it. And I'm going to put it all over these pierogies. And again, never done this before. This is just this is just an idea that my little pea brain came up with. So I said, you know what? Let's try it. See what happens. <clears throat> and I promise, this is no joke. I've never done this before. So... I have absolutely no idea how the end of this video is going to work out. Are these pierogies going to be a success? Are they going to be a flop? We don't know. Now, remember the previous tips. Don't forget about your oil. So, and then with these, with the pierogies, because they're very doughy and starchy, you might want to oil up real good. Because we don't know how they're going to stick. Now, I have cooked dough before. And it's not bad. So, let's see here. Like they're smoking pretty good. Now, usually what we do with these... Is you just boil them in water and once they start floating they're done and then you can eat them like that with a little butter uh, we like to fry them in a pan with a little bit of onion after they're boiled they're really good that way so but like I said this is the first time that we've grilled them really anxious to see how this turns out so because we're experimenting with this we don't know what's gonna happen and where it's gonna go Usually, you know, when you're cooking meat or whatever, you put it on there, you leave it alone. But this here, we want to keep an eye on it. Especially because this isn't meat, it's dough. Yeah, see, look at that. Now we're starting to get some nice uh, grill marks on there. There's one that's nice and brown. So we'll take a couple and flip them over. We'll leave a couple on there a little bit longer and uh, see what happens with different times. So, now as you guys can see, I 
talked about this before about using store-bought seasonings and herbs and spices and whatnot. Well, the same with barbecue sauces. Uh, I do have a couple of recipes that are my own, but I also enjoy these too. So, you know, you don't have to make your own. Go get these. These are nice. Today, one of the things that we're going to do is this is our favorite, the Kansas City Sweet and Smoky. We're going to use this one with uh, a couple of these. We're going to cook a couple with it on there. Yeah, look at that. Nice and brown. There's one that's got some nice char to it. <clears throat> All right, so now that we got them flipped, I got the sweet and smoky, just like I said, with a little brush. So I'm going to take a couple of these. I'm going to brush some on a couple and see what happens. All right. These are the ones that I flipped early, earlier than everyone else. <clears throat> Give them a second to cook. I'm going to take uh, and flip them after a minute or so, maybe a little bit less than a minute, and uh, get the barbecue sauce down on the grill, grill side down, and get some uh, good grill marks on it. All right, so like I said, I got the uh, barbecue sauce on there. I was going to leave it set for a minute. Well, now I'm ready to flip it over, so be patient. I'm going to have the camera move so you guys can come and get a closer look. All right, so here's the ones that we did the barbecue sauce on. And look at these nice grill marks on the rest of these. So I'm going to take these with the sauce, flip them over. Look at that. I'm going to put a little more barbecue sauce on them. I think this is going to work out good, guys. All right. We got some good grill marks. They're looking good. Let's give them a few more seconds. And uh, I think after, you know, probably 30, 40 seconds, they'll be ready to go. We'll take them off and we'll check it out and see how we did. All right, guys, it's been a few seconds. I think we're good to go. We got the sauce on some of them. We got uh, some of them that have got some extra char on them. Some of them that have got a little char on them. Here are our ones right up the middle with the sauce on them. Now remember, yeah, look at that, look at that. Oh, that was probably one of the best parts. It oozed out and I dropped it. <laughs> so for any of you that don't know, pierogies, you can see that it's got the dough on the outside and then basically it's just a mashed potato and cheddar cheese mixture. But now there's many, many flavors. So, here's our finished product. It's pretty good. We'll check it out and see. Um, but again, like I said, experiment. Don't be afraid to experiment. Come up with an idea. You know, we live in the information age. You can get right on the computer and search anything and everything and find a recipe, something that you like. Find a recipe, you know, add to it, take away from it, make it your own. <laughs> 